How do you prioritize everything that needs to get done? Have you ever felt like you just, you just can't get to everything? I mean, like, does it feel like no matter what you do, something's just gonna get dropped? Today I wanna help you look at things that are vying for your attention differently. I want you to shift your thinking. Not everything is a priority, and all priorities are not created equal. Okay, look around. Everywhere you turn, there is always going to be someone or something demanding your attention. That's never going to change. What has to change is how you look at the work uh, that you have to do. Yes, it's true. Our lives and businesses are all going to have peaks and valleys. However, the fundament fundamental way that we act as a leader should not change through the various ups and downs. If you think things will change once you get past a certain event or reach a, milestone, or a project milestone, you're just fooling yourself. It's time to bust this illusion and take a deep look at where you spend your time and your energy. All I know is, like I pay attention to successful and happy people, and the successful and happy people that I know, they're capable of achieving any objective. Why? because they learn to change the way they perceive the work they have to do in order to accomplish their goals. Were they born with these skills? No, they acquired them. The same is true for you and for me. It's time that we all shift our thinking. Everything is not a priority and all priorities are not created equal. Convincing yourself that everything must be attended to is an illusion, yet it happens all the time. I encourage you to try this. I want you to examine everything you tell yourself or convince yourself that you have to do today or even this week. So the question becomes, does every task really have to get done today or this week? Can some tasks be reprioritized for later? Can you delegate a certain task to someone else? Can other tasks just be eliminated altogether? These are just a few questions I ask myself on a weekly basis. And I wanna give you the tools that I use to create a rhythm and routine to get things done more efficiently. Why? So you free up time for yourself. Would you like more time for yourself? I don't know about you, but I do. See, I put a link in the description for my Power Week Power Life system. This is the exact system that I use and the repeatable system I have taught hundreds of clients. I encourage you to check it out. The link is in the description. Right now though, I want you to time travel. Right? Just bear with me here for a second. Just time travel to the end of this week. It's Friday. Imagine for a moment that you had an absolutely killer week, like awesome week. Why? Because you had the time to work on and accomplish the most important items on your to-do list. I call those items my big rocks. Now imagine, just imagine that if every week felt like that, you know that feeling like, yeah, that was a great week. I know what you're thinking. Like some people say like, oh, that's impossible. Here's the truth, it's not. It's easy to bitch and complain that you have way too much to do. It's harder, harder to actually do something about it. While everything may feel like a priority, you have to challenge yourself, right? To identify the three most important priorities or what I call the big rocks each week that if you completed them or even just simply advanced the ball on them, they would make you extremely happy, right? That's really super important. See. Most people, when I present this concept to them, most people have a difficult time sorting their list of priorities. And, and it's, just, it's just a common a trend I've seen. I, have, I personally have a lightweight process to sort my overflowing to-do list. I call it the 4D filter. The 4Ds are what can you dump, what can you delegate, what can you, can def what, what can you defer, and what is left is yours to do. See, I use this filter to create my, what I call my weekly flight plan. Do you want a short overview on how the 4D filter works? Do me a favor, go to powerweeksystem.com, right? The link is also in the description and I'll walk you through how the process works. See, the 4D filter is just one of a bunch of tools I offer within my Power Week Power Life system. Follow the link in the description uh, to, to check it out. There's a video, by the way, on that landing page where I unpack the 4D filter in more detail. Some people, when I talk about this, tell me they struggle sometimes to determine 
what their big rocks are. They say, okay, Riv, I get it. I understand that concept intellectually of big rocks, but I struggle to determine what they are. If that's you, don't worry, you're not alone. See, many people find themselves trying endlessly to react to everything. My advice, don't go it alone. See, it's easy to give up and just think it's all important, but that's not true. Once again, not everything is a priority. If you're a leader, right, meet with your team and review their priorities for the week ahead. That, like, right there sounds like common sense, right? Guess what? Common sense is not always common practice. I mean, I'm just blown away sometimes. I can't tell you the number of leaders who don't do this on a consistent basis, right? If you're not sure what your priorities are, you personally, tell your boss that you need their help. Take ownership and ask them, hey, what is most important for you this week? What are the three things that you care about the most, right? See, one of the, the primary responsibilities of any leader, in my opinion, is to help their team understand what's important and what's not, and what they should be working on. Conversely, and because this is important too, conversely, one of the primary responsibilities of every employee is to ensure they're in line with their boss, right? It's a two-way street. Again, common sense, not always common practice. When you include your boss in the process, you, that ensures alignment, right? And, and going forward, you know what else it does? It'll help you learn uh, more about what they expect. If your priorities, on the other hand, involve other people like family, friends, or coworkers, just talk to them, collaborate, ask them, hey, what do you need from me and when? Ask, ask their input regarding the order of what should come first. Order is important, right? And if they could lend a hand on specific tasks. Everybody at every level needs to develop the ability to sort an overflowing to-do list and work on the things that matter first. I want you to imagine, just imagine for a second, ending the week feeling a level of accomplishment you haven't felt in a long time, right? How cool would that be? Just think about that for a second. How cool would that be? Just do me one favor. Whatever you do, don't mistake activity for achievement. You have a responsibility to ensure the most important stuff moves forward. And the only way to do that, in my opinion, is to develop a system to filter the tasks you are working on. Okay, if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, right? Uh, comment below, share an aha moment or takeaway from you, and of course subscribe, because each week I'm sharing content to help you and your team embrace change Focus your efforts and accelerate results.